Hello, Roll folks. It's great to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Roll News and Analysis. Are you ready for an amazing video today, guys? We can't wait to show you. But before we move on to any further details, I'd really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I mean, guys, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell because we don't want you guys to miss out on any of the upcoming raw news and analysis of the next few weeks and months. So let's get started on today's epic video. So last night, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan, were trailed in their car by, you guessed it, photographers as they left a New York City charity event on Tuesday night, briefly taking refuge at a police station before being whisked away in a yellow taxi cab. The pursuit and media frenzy evoked memories of the 1997 car chase through Paris that killed Harry's mother, Princess Diana, though in this case police said no one was hurt. The royal couple set off alarms when their spokesperson claimed Wednesday that they had been dangerously pursued by paparazzi in a near-catastrophic car chase through the streets of Manhattan. That account led in New York City Mayor Eric Adams to condemn the paparazzi, chasing them as reckless and irresponsible. Later, the police said the pursuit was relatively short and led to no injuries, collisions or even arrests and warranted no further investigation. Now, the cab driver who drove them from the police station said he instantly recognised his passengers and that paparazzi were following us the whole time. Though he said, I wouldn't call it a chase. They had this look on their faces. The driver said, all of a sudden, paparazzi came out and started taking pictures. Adding more, he also said that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were looking nervous when paparazzi suddenly took over the car. Now, asking if the paparazzi were aggressive, he confirmed, the driver confirmed that no, they weren't aggressive. They just did their job while staying and standing far away from the respected vehicle. On the contrary to the scene, Buckingham Palace has not yet commented anything with respect to Harry and Meghan and their dangerous car chase scene. Wow, a real shocking piece of news there, guys. So what do you think about this? Do you think that Harry and Meghan's paparazzi chase is just a paid publicity stunt? It's sounding like the next Fast and Furious movie. Do let us know in the comments what you think, guys. And until next time, have a great day. We'll see you again soon for more Royal News and Analysis. Bye for now.